Before we continue on organizing the footage so we can get started on the edit, I think it's valuable and worth me showing you how to save sequence presets because in most cases you'll be working with the same types of footage and having a sequence preset makes things way easier. So to save sequence presets in our project panel on the left here, we will click on new item, click on sequence. And as you can see here, there are a bunch of presets already created for sequences. I'm just going to close the RE one there. And at the bottom, we have a folder called custom. So to create a custom sequence for this project that we're working on, that we'll be using in the next lesson, let's go over to the setting tab and click on that. We will click on the top here on editing mode and choose custom. We'll keep the time base at 23.976 frames per second, or as most editors would call that 23.98 frames per second. Under the video tab, we will keep the frame size 1920 by 1080. The pixel aspect ratio will keep square pixels, brackets one. The fields will go with no fields as it is. Display format will be 23.976 FPS timecode. In the audio, we will keep the sample rate at 48,000 hertz. The display format, audio samples, that's fine. Video previews, preview file format, I dash only MPEG, that's fine. Width 1920, height 1080. We'll keep composite in linear color clicked. VR properties projection none. That looks good and we're going to click on save preset. We will call this preset 1920 by 1080 23.98. And this is a preset that we'll be using throughout this entire course. And it's also a preset that you can choose to save yourself because in most cases as an editor, likely you will be working with 1920 by 1080 footage at 23.98 frames per second. So to save this sequence preset, we'll push OK. And if we drop the custom folder arrow down, you'll see that this preset is now here. We've created this in the next lesson. We will use this preset. 